Hi guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today's video will be all about the all new iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm going to be going through the unboxing and some features that have been announced which are new uh, for this year's iPhone and for its software as well as hardware and what the key differences are between for example the last year's iPhone 14 Pro Max and this year's iPhone 15 Pro Max this of course as you can tell is the box for the iPhone 15 Pro Max this shows what the phone would look like very similar design almost identical from the front as last year's iPhone 14 Pro Max over here just a nice Amazon standard tempered glass screen protector for the phone and this from Apple themselves which is the MagSafe clear case for the phone. Putting these to one side for now and just showcasing the phone and starting the unboxing. The box itself feels quite heavy but Apple does claim that this is much lighter than the phone or the iPhone 14 Pro Max from last year. Same fashion as to how every iPhone opens like this. And I decided to go with the lovely blue titanium color. Honestly, it just looks amazing. Absolutely perfect. It doesn't stand up too much and doesn't give up too much of a glare either. It's a nice matte finish or a matte feel finish over here. Obviously you have the three different cameras there. Let's put the phone to one side for a second. In the box as you can see Apple clearly is trying to cut down on the packaging and it gets less and less every year but as usual you have the packet with your sim tray unlocker also have the different types of information warranty all that good stuff and of course the infamous apple sticker as well as that we have the Newly, as you can tell on camera, nice braided USB-C cable, which is what I'll get onto next. Very nice texture and Apple does in fact claim that this is more durable than the previous generations of this cable. There we have it, the USB-C cable, which has again which again has a lovely braided texture as you can tell. Now with the box put aside, we come on to the main event which is the iPhone itself. Having felt the previous phones, you can definitely tell that it is much lighter uh, in your hands. Definitely has a nice titanium finish on the sides as you can tell. One of the key differences I'll be going through is the action button at the top over there. As you can see, now it is a button instead of a ringer. Of course, you have your volume up, volume down, SIM tray on this side, as well as the power button over here. Now let's go ahead and open up the phone. As you can see when the phone opens up, immediately as with the Pros last year, you can tell this also has the Dynamic Island of course, as it is the Pro Max. And now this year the base iPhone 15 models also have the Dynamic Island. So you'll be welcomed with this screen, showing you different languages. Go ahead and scroll up and again it is the exact same procedure of setting up your iPhone as it has been for the last many many years. Select English, select your country and what you want your appearance to be 
the default is this medium is showing you it's like this and large I'm gonna have it as default quick start it's going to look for any nearby devices and if I bring up my iPhone 13 next to it it should recognize the device and then I can use the old device and set up everything and transfer everything from here to my new phone as usual on the other iPhone it will ask you to use the camera and scan this orb looking thing over here so I'm going to go ahead and do that once it's been scanned it will ask you to continue on the other iPhone and on the old iPhone that you are using to transfer data to here on a new one it will ask you to set up your new iPhone with your current Apple ID so I'm going to go ahead and do that it's going to give you a prompt on asking you for the passcode for your other iPhone so when you enter that the next screen will be the next screen will show you this it's going to take a few minutes to set up as you can see Wi-Fi everything already connected it will be a very seamless process if you're going from an iPhone to another iPhone a little bit more complicated for you to go in to from Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android as of course they have a different OS system but over on my old iPhone it shows me enjoy your new iPhone when you're ready come back to get this iPhone ready to be traded in sold or given away so we can press done on the, on the old iPhone and everything should be transferred over to here it's asking for a software update as of now so I will go ahead and do that once your phone has been updated if you need to during setup go ahead and swipe up again and I'll come back to the appearance and because before it showed you uh, a lighter background and now because all the data from my old phone has been transferred onto this one whilst the information on the old phone is being transferred on this one all of these settings will be asked from you to be able to complete and uh, for example face id is the first one so i'm going to go ahead and complete this then it will ask you if you want to transfer data from iphone if you are moving from iphone you can transfer as an iphone which is the just the name of what i kept my iphone as you can transfer all this data and settings directly to this phone keep your iphone nearby connected to power until the transfer is complete estimated transfer time it gives you over there as well which is 10 to 15 minutes so i'm going to go ahead and do that as you can see it, sh it asks you if you want to make this your new iphone and it gives you the connections any wallet items and your settings and your app and data go ahead and press continue if you want to do so or if you want to edit anything you can do that as well location services if you want to turn them on you can before this page it will ask you to go through and any cards that you've added to your wallet on your previous iphone it will ask you to confirm the cvv number and you can go ahead and do that after it will ask you to share with apple any diagnostics and the analytics to share with app developers emergency sos this also has the crash detection and in certain countries it also has the emergency sos via satellite you can press and hold for emergency services which is the holding down the side button and any of the volume buttons to make the emergency call and because all of that is set up now the data is transferring and i'll be back with you when it's complete once everything has been transferred it will redirect you to one of Apple's newest features software and hardware but this is for the action button as you can see over here and when you press this one of these actions that you customize it to it will occur as you press the button so for example if I want it to be on silent mode when I press the action button over here as you can see on the top it says silent and you can hold it down so that it's not silent anymore over here as you can see it says silent and when you hold it down it can go back to ringer so it's not on silent anymore all of this is done within the 
dynamic item at the top. Again, you can change this to different focuses that you have. Do not disturb driving or sleep. You can change it to the camera and exact mode which you want the camera to go to. So, so photo, normal for the back camera, or selfie, or video, or portrait, or portrait selfie. You can also change it to the torch. When you press it, the torch comes on. Go back up again. You can also start a voice memo. You can also do a magnifier. You can also do any shortcut you want. As, as well as accessibility options, different shortcuts, you can do the Siri shortcuts literally from anything from a code scanner, the clock, photos, phone, open any app you want, or you can click on any of your contacts for it to call them straight away, any music, Shazam, play any music, share folders, pick up a new note for example. For now we're going to leave it as silent mode and press continue. Welcome to iPhone and here it is all my background, wallpaper everything will come up here now. Use this phone when sharing your location. Sure we're going to select that. Now we're going to talk about the camera. This camera in fact has 0.5, it has 124mm, 28mm and 35mm without disrupting the quality of the photo. Also has 2 times zoom as well as 5 times zoom which is amazing with the third camera. Also has your modes such as portrait, painter, video which again has a lovely 4K 60 also has action mode on the top over here cinematic, slow mo and time lapse what you will also notice is the always on display when you turn it on or press the power button it goes to a bright screen when you turn it off always on display turns on. One hardware that is a little bit hard to notice but as you can see over here a small line is inside the charger, a small line is inside the charger port and this shows the new step that Apple has taken and decided to do USB-C which it, hence why the new cable is USB-C to USB-C and this USB-C port can support up to three times download speed and apparently according to Apple faster charging as well. Also a very noticeable thing when switching from a lower refresh hertz rate to the 120 hertz rate amazingly smooth and seamless switching very very clear difference in my eyes personally from using the iPhone 13. Just going to also unbox the clear MagSafe iPhone 15 Pro Max case for you guys. As you can see nice and simple and clear with all the buttons needed especially the action button over here nice cut out for this the power button and the volume up and down, nice clear case for MagSafe, seems very durable. The only thing I would recommend if you didn't want to buy this case or a reason to avoid it would be it has an uh, open layer at the bottom here so the bottom could get scratched or dented for example if you drop it straight down and I would recommend getting another case from Amazon instead which covers the bottom area but overall this looks like a very very nice case fitting onto the new phone quite snug and there you have it nice color shown over there as well 
three cameras with a nice new sensor, 48 megapixels. And yeah, it fits very nice. There it is for you guys. A short setup and review as well as the full unboxing of the all new iPhone 15 Pro Max. I hope you guys enjoyed and please leave a like if you did and also make sure to subscribe and follow up for whenever we have more new unboxing material.